Okay, so let's have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 1 for 2022, and this is question 4. So we have this uh, sequence here, uh, U1, U2, U3, and so on. It's defined as follows for natural numbers. So U1 is 2, second term here, U2 is 64, and so on. Now, the general formula is UN plus 1, so any particular term is equal to the square root of the previous term divided by the previous previous term. Write u3 in the form 2 to the power of p where p is a real number. What we need to do here is look at our formula here. We've got un plus 1 is equal to the square root of un divided by un minus 1. So we want uh, u3, isn't it? u3 here. So yeah, we want u3. So u3 is going to be the square root of, uh, if this is 3, so n plus 1 is 3, this must be n then, so this must be 2. So u2 is 64, we were given that in the question up here, u2 is 64. And then we want to divide that by un minus 1. That's going to be, if this is, if 3 is un plus 1, un minus 1 is going to be 2 back, which is going to be u1, which is 2. So when we do that, then we get u3 is the square root of 64 divided by 2, which is 32. So the square root of 32 is 32 to the power of a half. Now we want this in the form 2 to the power of something, 2 to the power of p. So we have 32 to the power of a half. If you think about 32, uh, is actually 2 to the power of 5, and that's the power of a half. So we end up with 2 to the power of 5 times a half, which is 2 and a half. So it's 2 to the power of 2 and a half, and I write that as 5 over 2. So it's 2 to the power of 5 over 2. I think that's all we were asked to do. So we have to write our answer in the form 2 to the power of p, where p is a real number, so that's fine. That's our answer there. Okay, so let's move on then to part b. The first three terms in an arithmetic sequence are as follows, where k is an element of or. So we have these three here. By letting y is equal to e to the power of k in this arithmetic sequence, show that this thing here is equal to 0. OK, so what have we got? We've got 5 e to the power of minus k is the first term. We've got 13 as the second term. And we've got 5 e to the power of plus k as the third term. Now, if this is an arithmetic sequence, it would mean that the common difference would be the same. In other words, if we subtract these two, we should get exactly the same as what we get when we subtract these two. So let's do that. If we take 13 and we subtract 5e to the power of minus k, that should be exactly the same as if we take 5e to the power of k and subtract 13. So this is our equation. Presumably when we mess around with this, we're going to end up with what we're asked to find here. It says let y equal to e to the power of k. Let i equal to e to the power of k. This is 5 over e to the power of plus k. Remember, e to the power of minus k is 1 over e to the power of plus k. So uh, that's that bit there. On this side here, then we've got 5 e to the power of k minus 13. So Let's just replace our e to the power of k's now. Remember, e to the power of k is y. We were given that in the question. So let's just replace these. So we've got 13 minus 5 over y is equal to 5y minus 13. So in order to get rid of this fraction here, we need to multiply across by y. So we get 13y here. y will cancel there. We get 5y squared there and we'll get 13 minus 13 y there. So that will give us, let's see, we have, um, let's bring the 5 y squared over. So we've got minus 5 y squared on this side. We'll bring the minus 13 y over as well. So that'll give us plus uh, 26 y. And then we have our minus 5 on this side and equal to 0. Let's multiply across by minus 1. So that'll give me 5 y squared here, minus 26 minus 26y here, plus 5 here, equal to 0. Now hopefully, that's, uh, hopefully that is what we were actually asked for. So we got 5y squared minus 26y plus 5 equal to 0, so that's fine. So that's that one done. Let's have a look at the next one then. Use the equation in 
y in part b1 to find two possible values for k given uh, give each value in the form log p or minus log p okay so the equation that we were starting with is 5y squared I think it was minus 26 y and then there was a plus 5 equal to 0 so what we need to do next here is uh, factorize so we're going to factorize this thing here and we'll get 0 on this side so we got 5y times y we want 26 here so it's probably going to be a 5 out here and a 1 here so we need a plus 5 so it's going to be minus times minus because this is also minus here so I think that works so we have minus 25 minus 1 which is minus 26 that's fine so when you solve that, then you will get y is equal to 1 over 5, or y is equal to 5. So there are two values. But remember, uh, in a previous question, we know that y is equal to e to the power of k. So this is where we need to work out what k is. And we need to give our k in the form of log p or minus log p. So if y is 1 fifth, that means e to the power of k is equal to one-fifth and e to the power of k is equal to five so we need to convert this to log format so let's see we have get the log of both sides natural log of both sides is what you could do here or just convert to um, log notation but let's get the log of both sides here the log of the left hand side will give us k the natural log of the right hand side will give us log one-fifth over on this side also we'll get k here we'll end up with log 5 on the right hand side now the left hand side we just need to do a little bit more with that so we have over here we have k is equal to log 5 to the power of minus 1 so that will finally give me k is equal to, I can take that minus 1 and bring it down here so that will give me minus log 5 so my answer then my answer is k is equal to log 5 minus log 5. So plus or minus natural log of 5. Okay, and that's it for this question.